A new New York Fed survey released this week showed consumers expect food inflation to rise 7.6 percent over the next year, which is only down slightly from the previous month's expectations. Joining us now exclusively ahead of tomorrow's CPI report is Kroger CEO Rodney McMullen. Rodney, great to have you. Welcome back. Thank you, Sarah. Hi. Hi. Well, we're wondering about food inflation because it's been one of the biggest problems and, and one of the most stubbornly high parts of the overall inflation story. What, what, do you, what do you think is happening right now? Is it decelerating? Uh, yeah, I would agree with your uh, comment about being stubborn. Uh, in terms of as we look forward, our expectation is early in the year, uh, the inflation will continue to be higher than what it had been bef uh, early, you know, a couple years ago. But as you get later in the year, we do expect some moderation there. Uh, but it's still going to be a while before uh, it really is uh, take some pressure off the uh, customer. And uh, we're doing everything we can to make sure that we minimize that impact. But just to be clear, Rodney, about what's happening now, are, are prices accelerating? Are they staying high or are they accelerating less? They're, they're um, staying about the same. Uh, there are some CPGs that continue to uh, pass cost increases through uh, people that were a little slow early on the inflation on passing it through. But if you look in terms of year on year, uh, the, it's a little bit lower on a rolling, you know, 12 month basis, uh, but it's still uh, very high. So how do we get it down? It's not like the Fed can control supply chains for food, which has always been sort of one of the issues here. How, how does that come down later in the year and into next? Yeah, it's a great question, Sarah. And obviously, from a farming standpoint, on a supply uh, basis, uh, it's hopefully, you know, this is a, will be a great growing season. And hopefully, as you look across the world, it will be a good growing season. Uh, when you look at corn prices, uh, wheat prices, all the raw ingredients, uh, it, it's really uh, a supply and demand. And if you look at the grain prices, uh, the hope is uh, that you'll see some moderation there. Uh, from yeah. a labor cost standpoint, you still continue to see some inflation there as well. Well, and then there are these other acute issues like what's happening with egg prices. In California last week, $7.37 for a dozen eggs, where it should be, what, 2, two to $3 because of avian flu and all, the, all these other issues. When does that come down? Yeah, and, and if you look historically, uh, it really uh, takes a growing season on chickens, and chickens have the fastest replenishment uh, rate of any of the livestock items. So hopefully there's not another avian flu outbreak, and assuming there's not, uh, you would expect over in the next several months uh, the new uh, uh, chickens will be coming, being uh, hatched and then producing. So would expect some moderation there, but that's really uh, will be uh, driven in terms of having more hens laying eggs. And, you know, it's not the first time that we've had this happen in the mm. U.S., obviously much bigger this time than previous issues.